for like no reason. Just curl my hair for no reason. And then I was going to do my makeup. And I was like, you know what? I should just make this a video. And it can be quarantine, get ready for no reason. Sorry, this lighting is like completely off. I'm very sorry, y'all. But I'll go over how I curl my hair. I take a piece. Don't want it too big, but not too small. Always curl it back. So I don't really use the clamp, but I wrap it around two times and there's hair hanging like a lot of it. So I let it sit at the top for a second. Sorry, the cord is like all in my face. I really start to pull it down and I pull the piece back so it's like still curling it. But I like the top to be more curly than the end. And I like the end to be more straight. So I just do that really slowly. And then it's like... Has a little bit of curl right here, a lot of curl here, and then like none at the bottom. That's what I like. So wrap it around twice closer to your head. Hold it for a second. Hold it. And then you're going to slowly pull it out, but barely. And I pull it around when I do that. And really slow. Make sure you don't burn your finger on the clamp. I've done that so many times. Slowly let it fall out. And then... You have your curl. You see it? I'm going to finish curling because it's going to take me a minute. So I will get back to you guys when I'm done and I'll show you what products I put in and all that stuff. So. I'm worried about the way I've been living. I'm worried that you look at me different I'm worried that this will all change I'm worried about keeping you safe I'm Okay, so I moved because that lighting was like god awful But so first thing I'm going to use is the Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo This is the Beach Babe texturizing one I'm gonna put that literally all in my hair And just spray throughout those to give it like volume. Okay, so now I'm gonna do hairspray. I hate hairspray. Ugh, I just hate it touching it. It feels so gross. I'm just gonna like lightly spray and then soften it with my hand like that and then scrunch it a little bit. So lightly spray, soften it. Soften it. I kind of run my fingers through it too. And then I spray like the very tips of my hair. I'll usually use the Not Your Mother's Beachy Hairspray. But I'm going to use, this is the Aussie Headstrong Volume Spray Gel. And it kind of just helps hold your curls. So I'm going to use this. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing, but I spray it and then I kind of just like push it up the curls. So same thing on this side. So next I'm going to be using, this is Argan Oil of Morocco. Morocco. Weightless Healing Dry Oil. Um, I, me and my mom have used this like my whole life it's the same stuff if you watched my last video that I put in my hair when it's wet that's like for wet hair and this is for dry hair so I basically just spray this in my hand three or four squirts rub it in and I just go over all the pieces that are super frizzy especially the ones in the front of my hair love to get really frizzy and I just kind of go through it and it makes it if you do too much it'll make your hair look greasy Okay, so that is all the products. Now I'm going to do my makeup. So to start off, the first product I always will use when I start makeup or like anything. The Clinique Moisturizer. And this is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. It's really sad that I don't know the product names of any of the stuff that I've literally used like four years. 
All right, so next, I always use this as well. You guys have probably seen me show this a few times. It's the Photo Finish Smashbox Primer. I remember that one. And so I put this in my T-zone, so right here, my nose, and then my chin, bridge of my nose, and then I might need to get more. Hold up. So let me rub that in. And this just like mattifies. My cheeks always look like they have natural highlight on them, which I love. But some spots just look like really greasy and oily rather than a glow, if that makes sense. So that's why I love to use this. Um, I'm putting on my eyes, especially if I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow. I don't want my eyes to look like greasy, you know. So I don't know why my face is getting so red. It, especially in summer, I don't really wear a lot of concealer. I'll just put on my, uh, it's not really a foundation, it's like a BB cream almost, I guess. Let me see what it says it is. This is what I use in the summer more, because usually in the winter, I just use a concealer. I don't use the foundation, um, but this is the Inflammable Pro Glow L'Oreal Paris it is a foundation, 24 foundation, and I have the 210 classic tan color. I just said 210. <laughs> okay, and then another thing I just started doing that I'm kind of obsessed with. So I do people's hair and makeup is if you follow my social media, you might know that. And I buy like a pack of these to put like there, so many, oh my goodness, to put their like foundation and like all that stuff on. I use a new one per person for sanitary purposes. And I was thinking about it and I was like, cause I keep seeing things about people's beauty blenders being disgusting. Wait, why don't I use these? Because the price of that little bag is very cheap. And a bunch of these, I like I'll use one three times and then throw it away. Wear makeup a lot too, like I'll just put on bronzer some days. So it's gonna take me so long to go through that so it's cheaper and it's more sanitary. So if you wanna try it, I forget what they're called. I can look it up. It's like the sponges, it's something sponges. It's in like Target or Walmart or something in the beauty makeup section, you'll see them. But if I think of what they're called, I can link them below. But I'm going to go wet this, so I'll be back. So I'm just going to put a few dots, barely any. Okay. And that'll be all the concealer I use. I'm going to get this that I just wet, and I don't use a lot at all. Just literally take the excess from around it, and a little will come out of it. And then if I need more, I use it. I just don't like having too much foundation on. Like sometimes I don't even use all that. So I'm just gonna start blending this in. Okay, so I just put that on my face. So I'm done with that. Now I am going to put some powder on. So this is just the MAC Studio Fix Plus. And then I get the shade NW30. Honestly, I don't even know if that's the shade name. I just read that. So it just panned recently to get a new one. Okay, so I finished the powder. And now I'm going to take this brush. It's Morphe Jaclyn Hill. And by the way, the other brush I used was just set of brushes my I got from a company but this is a Morphe brush and it's the Jaclyn Hill JH03. I love this brush. I contour with this brush. I basically just dip the edge of this brush in like that. It's panned pretty bad. I need a new one. So I'll go around the edge and then I'll make a little line and buff it up like that. Take it up and just go all the way around like that, and then I'll do my nose. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. Go and get some sleep while you 
boys in a hurry You got bigger things planned for you, don't worry You ain't gotta come to conclusions this early Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep while you boys in a hurry You got bigger okay. things Finish my bronzer and all that. By the way, this brush is the number two of the Jaclyn Hill um, collection. So I'm done with that. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush, but like barely any. So this is the NARS and it's the orgasm one. Yeah, just making sure. I've used this for a while. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just dipping this in here and this is the Jaclyn Hill brush four. Morphe. So I just smile a little bit. And push it up my cheeks. Y'all look at the difference in the sides of my faces. So we have this side. See how it looks? And then look at this side. Do I not look like two different people from the sides? It's weird. I try not to do my brows too much because I literally hate them and I feel like when I do them too much, they just look so off. And I haven't gotten them threaded in so long and they're so bushy and so long right now, so please ignore. But I'm just gonna fill them in just a little bit um, just to give them more of a shape, even though I hate doing it. I'm using Anastasia Brow Dip and I'm just kind of trying to make everything evenly shaped, if that makes sense. Ooh. And it's a Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to finish this real quick. Okay, I definitely did those way too dark. Literally just had to rub it off. It was so dark. But whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's okay. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm just doing my makeup for fun. Alright. Next, I am going to do the wing liner that some of you have asked me how to do. I use the Maybelline New York Define Align Eye Bonnie Black. I, don't, I definitely didn't say that right. Pencil. And it has like a smudger or a blender. I don't really, not a blender, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. So I first take the pencil part and I draw a line on my eyelid to start with. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So I do it like. Like that, that's it. So it looks weird, it's in the middle, whatever not. So that's when the brush comes into play. So I'm gonna spray the brush a little bit, just a smidge. Just so it like, will hold it better when I smudge it. So I take the brush, and I'm gonna brush this out. Okay, hi. So I finished the eyeliner. I'll show you guys up closer after my mascara. But I use the. I'm not gonna be able to say it. Essence. Essence. Lash. Peeled off. I'm dearly sorry. But this is what it looks like. I'm sure. I feel like a lot of people post about it on TikTok. So I'm sure you'll be able to find it, but obsessed with this mascara. Hands down, the best mascara I've ever had. I know it's on Amazon. That's about it. Be back. So I put on mascara, and I'm going to do the last step before I show you guys like everything up close. And I'm going to put on a little bit of highlighter, and then I'm done. So I like to put this in the corner of my eye to just brighten that up. And I like to drag it in and drag it up, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do that on both eyes. And I like to do my brow. So I'm 
my favorite part. Brow bone highlight is by far my favorite thing. A little on my nose, just a little from the excess. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go over my face with this. One last time. So this is the finished look. Here's the wing. And then the curls. And the makeup. I'm not really sure what I wanna wear, but we're gonna figure that out. I do love the outfit I am in, but I need to change, so. Just wearing this top company sent to me. It just says my perspective with a few hearts. And then these jeans, I'm pretty sure they're from, ooh. I think my mom got them from like TJ Maxx or something. Honestly, I couldn't tell you guys though. And then my favorite tennis shoes, they're just Nikes and I got them from the Nike outlet by my house. So yeah, that's the whole outfit. Okay, so first for lips, this is um, a MAC lipstick. It's the Syrup A87, my favorite ever. It's a little messed up. I don't know how I broke it, but I just dabbed that a little bit on there and then... So this is by Kylie. It's so good, y'all. Not only is the gloss like so pretty, but it smells good and tastes good, which is always a bonus. So this is the Kylie Jenner, I forget what it's called, clear gloss, and it's spelled with a K. That's cute. <laughs> Didn't even know that. So yeah, that is everything I do when I'm like getting ready, getting ready. I know a lot of people ask questions about how I get ready, so, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. And stay safe during quarantine. I'm worried that I'll never make it out, yeah. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. Go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry.